What's up everybody and welcome to Matty's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a Scottish staple. To be more accurate, we're going to be trying to emulate an ancient and sacred Glaswegian recipe. Break out the square sausage lads because we're going for a Morton Roll! So for this one you're going to need 500 grams of strong white bread flour. Anything with a high gluten content will do, you want about 14%. You'll want some lard, 30 grams to be precise. This is the good stuff, the fatty stuff. 10 grams of sugar, 10 grams of salt, one packet or five grams of fast acting yeast or easy bake yeast, 400 milliliters of cold water. And then for the coating, you're gonna to wanna to use 50 grams of plain flour or self-raising if that's all you've got. And then 50 grams of rice flour. I don't have any rice flour. I couldn't get any except on Amazon and they wanted me to spend another 15 pound to get it delivered. No thanks. So I'm just gonna use a bit of corn flour. It won't make a huge amount of difference. It'll maybe change the taste a little bit, but it should still give us the same effect. Okay, I've got my flour in my bowl. So what you need to do next is take the lard dump it in there and then you're just rubbing this in same way you would do it if you were making like an apple crumble or something like that except you would obviously use butter fat not lard unless you're some kind of fat fuck <laughs> like me but you just rub it in get it all incorporated as much as you can and once you've done that you're getting your yeast your salt and your sugar and just adding that in there too and give it a good stir around don't be afraid to use your hands, you're gonna to have to knead the dough anyway, so you might as well. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to grab your 400 mils of water and add that in there as well. It seems like a lot, but because this is a high gluten dough, it'll absorb the water pretty quickly. So just get that all mixed up as best you can. Once you've done that and made a mess of your hands, you wanna empty that into Well, flour board or your countertop and then just knead that for about a minute you don't want to do it any longer than that so our dough is back in the bowl and it's been covered loosely just to let it breathe a little so we're going to put that in the fridge and that will need 12 to 16 hours just to ferment to let it do its thing so we'll come back to that one in the morning Good morning, it's been 16 hours and look at the size of that dough. Alright, so we're taking our 50 grams of our plain flour and our rice flour, or corn flour in my case. We're just using most of it to dust our worktop, or a good chunk of it anyway, but we want to save some because we need that for the coating. So we're going to empty our still sticky dough onto our countertop. Try and keep as much of the air in as you possibly can. There we go. And I'm going to use our knife, turn it a couple of times just to make it a bit more usable, easier to handle. We're going to take our knife, we're going to divide it into eight equal pieces. You're better off with a scraper or something like that, uh, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to use my knife. Also, try and keep the air in, so don't flatten it, don't knead it too much. But see how easy that cuts? Once you've got it on the thing, it's not too bad. So while we're going, we're going to keep dusting our fingers, make sure that they're nice and covered in the mixture. And just one at a time, you're taking your your dough, form it into a rough ball. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. The charm of Morton Rolls is that they're not perfect shapes. None of them are ever just circular. They're always mad random shapes. And that's just the way you do it. Really. So form a wee ball, again, keep the air in. Dip it in just on the top. And then you're gonna put these on your baking sheet. And you're gonna wanna do that for each one of them. There you go, that's our dough balls put on our tray. So you wanna leave them just to rise on their own for half an hour. While you're doing that, you can get your oven preheated. You wanna heat that to 250 degrees C. We'll come back to that when the oven's ready. 
Okay, it's been half an hour. As you can see, those have risen a little bit. Now, I actually made a mistake earlier on. You actually need to leave them for two hours to rise, not half an hour. So, I'm going to leave these for another hour and a half, and then we'll come back to them. I had started to preheat in my oven, but obviously, <laughs> I'm not going to leave that on for two hours. So, I've turned that off, and we'll come back half an hour before again and just start it up again. Look at those, it's been two hours, those have pretty much doubled in size, so that's perfect. It's okay that they've all kind of joined together, that's what you want. That's how you make a proper good morning roll. So, I'm going to plug these in the oven. Once again, that's at 250, and we're going to leave that for 25 minutes until they're well fired. Just keep an eye on them. Alright, our rolls should be ready. Whew! Steamy. Oh, there you go. Those look proper good. Now, I know they look a bit burnt. I had them on the top shelf. Um, I do like mine well fired anyway, so they should be pretty whew, solid on top. It's also fucking roasting. Um, but if, if you like them a little less well done, obviously just put them onto the middle shelf. That way the tops won't go as black. But a good Scottish port and roll, you get a good variety of them normally, so I like the well-fired ones personally. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop them onto a wire rack, leave them to cool until they reach room temperature, and then we'll give them a go. I'm looking forward to this. So you can pretty much put whatever you want in these magnificent rolls, but the best filling has just got to be the old square sausage. If you want to know how to make this, check out the link in the description. I made this last week and it was absolutely to die for. square sausage watch last week's video it'll be appearing in your cars just now there'll probably be a link at the end of this video there'll also be a link in the description um, for now let's um let's have a wee try of just a bit of one of the rolls just off the top here just to see how that turned out feels and looks like a morton roll if only a little bit smaller than usual but this is the first time i've done this so it'll take a few tries mm. Yeah, that really does taste like a morton roll. That is amazing. Mm. It's it's airy. It's got that well fired top that I really like, and it's crunchy and oh, it's crunchy on the outside but soft on the inside. It is the perfect morning roll. I'd definitely say try this out if you get a chance. Let's go for a full bite. Try this one here. We'll put a little bit of our tomato sauce on just because I do like tomato sauce so a square sausage. Let's go. Mm. That is nice. It really is the perfect way to eat it as well. Put a little bit of ketchup on there. Tastes really good. Like I say, the rolls are really, really nice. You know, they're crunchy on the outside, they're soft in the middle. You don't need to do them as well fired as this. They should still be quite brown on the top, but they are just so tasty. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you make Morton rolls. Great for lunchtime. Perfect with a bit of square sausage or a bit of bacon or something, or even just for like a ham roll. They are so good, really, really tasty. I would definitely recommend trying them yourselves. And if you would like to know how to make square sausage, 
full link in the cards or at the end of this video or in the description. I made that last week. It was really, really delicious. I really would recommend giving it a try. But that's all for today from Matty's Kitchen. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, share it on all the social media things. And you can follow me on all the social medias as well. I use Instagram primarily. That about does it. Thank you so much, guys. You all take care. Have yourselves a lovely day. Keep life delicious, eh?